It takes a leap of faith to believe, to believe in magic, the magic that winds symphonize with the clouds, above the horizon of tall, densely pitched terrains. Brushing the greens and blues, the oranges and browns, the magic that mountain bestows. It takes a step ahead, beyond the comforts of urban spaces to experience this magic. A step into the world less traveled, full of wilderness and peace. 30 plus years, 40 plus campsites, 100 plus volunteers, 50 plus committed schools and more than 2 lakh explorers. That is how Anala Outdoors has been working towards creating an environment conscious society through innovative outdoor based programs. What started in September 1985 as Ahmedabad Nature Lovers Association a movement by nature lovers to sensitize the society about environment issues now has shaped into an organization committed towards nature conservation through environment education. Anchoring this organization has been three strong pillars Chandresh Lodia, Madhu Menon, Imtiaz Gafurji Wala who together are spearheading Anala Outdoors with a unified vision of promoting the spirit of adventure, self-learning and conservation. One such nature's trail that leads to the mightiest mountain ranges of the world, the Himalayas, which are majestic, magnificent and magical in every sense has been Anala Outdoors Himalayan Environment Exposure Camp at Delausi. Overlooking the Chamba Valley and nestled amidst a thick carpet of steppe farms, a quaint town called Delhousey stands tall and proud. 7,600 feet above the sea level. One of the most popular hill stations of Himachal Pradesh, Delhousey, is adorned with variegated colors of nature. Decked up in colorful tones, this town is often adorned in greens and whites. The greens are lent by the oaks, the pines and the deodars, whereas the whites are lent by the daisy carpets and snow-capped peaks. And then a multitude of hues decide to embark on the wings of a range of butterflies. Every step in these hills is magnificently patched up with dandelions, foxgloves and snake lilies. The forests around the town too have their own special offerings in the form of mammals, like the moon bears, barking deers, yellow-throated martins and reptiles like agama, skinks and few species of snakes. The town too has its own beauty. Moving around it, one realizes that every moment spent in Dalhousie provides a much sought after reprieve to the very senses of a city dweller. The wooden houses provide an old world charm. The narrow lanes in the steep undulated terrain offer a chance to the wanderers to lose and find themselves. Welcome to Dalhousie. Thank, Thank you, sir. Okay, you are in a camp and next five days you are going to live here. Did you like the campsite? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So can somebody tell me what are the objectives of this camp? Why, have, why are you here? Yes? To connect to the nature. Very good. You want to connect with nature. Great. Right. The basic objective of this camp is to stay close to nature. Most of you are from urban areas. Bada bada cities se hai. So, here you will stay with nature and with nature, you will learn a lot of things about nature. Right? And at the same time, you will also learn to live without luxuries. And next 5 days, you will learn your capabilities, your capacity, mental as well as physical. That you will 
realize. And the uncorrupted air is a treat in itself. There are times when the quiet is shattered only by the calls of the naughty barbets. And there are times when the weather, driven by its own mood, decides to bless the land with rain. On the way to Khajiar, around 16 kilometers from Delauzi town, Anala Outdoors sets its campsite. The adventure of the participant starts with a 15-minute walk to the campsite. However, the exhaustion of walking through thick bushes and undulated terrain evaporates the moment the adventure campers set their eyes on the snow-capped Himalayan peaks surrounding the site. They feel instantly revitalized and ready to unravel the secrets that the camp and its surroundings harbor in them. The campsite is a modest abode furnished with comfortable alpine tents, makeshift toilets and a designated dining area where nourishing food is served as per a pre-decided menu. When the campers settle down, they find the campsite which is devoid of the taken-for-granted urban luxuries. Henceforth, the daily regime of campers comprise waking up with the sun daily through musical calls of blue whistling thrushes, followed by morning warm-up exercises. The campers' true exploration starts with treks through steep, rocky and undulated paths to the top of hills, crossing across ridges and valleys. Through their walks, they witness the charm of tall trees, divine temples and lush green surroundings all around them. Trekking on these less travelled nature trails challenges the campers' capabilities, instills confidence in them and gets them closer to the elements of nature. Yeah, the basic objective of this camp is to uh, introduce the urban born and brought up students to the joy of living with nature. Delauz is such a beautiful place, it's, uh, the campsite is surrounded by lush green trees, there is a beautiful forest, uh, there are about 110 different bird species that we have identified in this area. So the basic mo motive is to bring them to close to nature, bring, bring them in an environment where they fall in love with nature. They learn to appreciate nature and apart from that, uh, there are a few activities that we have designed here uh, will enhance their self-confidence. Like there are adventure activities like rappling, uh, zipline, tree jumaring. These activities enhances their self-confidence, that enhances their willpower. And apart from that, we have a uh, few team building games here, uh, which help them in uh, learning about uh, teamwork, uh, leadership qualities come out. So overall, this particular camp uh, is like a total personality de development for a child. Apart from trekking, other scheduled adventure activities such as rappelling, jumering, and zip line challenge their mental and physical prowess. Apart from these off-site adventures, there are a range of on-camp games that are specially designed in a way that campers develop important character traits like team building and leadership. All these activities are conducted under the guidance of professionally trained instructors who with the best available equipments and with all safety measures help the participants learn the basics of mountaineering and motivate them to give their best. With children, games and overall safety and discipline to maintain all of them and to behave as a friend and to take care of the team is my work. We motivate children in this way that they एक्टिविटी करें क्योंकि उसको जब वो आता है उसको फोबिया होता है हर चीज़ का कि हाइट पे कैसे है गिरेंगे मोटिवेट करते हैं कि आपको जो हाइट से डर लगता है तो उसको समझाते हैं कि नहीं बेटा ये करना है आपको क्योंकि आप ये नहीं करोगे तो दूसरी जगह कुछ भी नहीं कर पाओगे आप इस तरह से हम उनको मोटिवेट करते हैं तो वो हमारी बात सुनते हैं और करते भी हैं
When the days are filled with these activities, the evenings are spent around a campfire. Storytelling sessions, dance and drama performances are the forms of entertainment indulged in at this time, wherein the campers experience the charms of an era gone by. However, the most awaited part of the trip is set out for the last day when the campers are taken on a trek to Khajiar. Khajiar is a part of India that inhabits Switzerland's soul. It is a settlement 24 kilometers away from Dalhousie. The sights at Khajiar though make every ounce of effort spent to reach there worthwhile. The weed-covered lake the carpeted slopes and the flowery meadows amidst the thick foliage makes one believe that nature has been especially partial towards this town while showering its blessings. Such is the charm of Khajiar that even the joy of playing an ordinary match of cricket transcends to new levels. Apart from all these activities, some of the birding enthusiasts can also opt for a bird-watching trek. The forests around Dalhousie house more than 150 species of birds. The campers set their binoculars to work and get a chance to spot birds such as barbets, flycatchers, magpies. While the campers enjoy their stay in nature's lab, on the ground level, all the arrangements made by Anala Outdoors are monitored on a 24 by 7 basis from its headquarters. The ground team works round the clock with one-to-one -one interaction between 10 in the morning to 7 in the evening and by emergency contact numbers during the night hours. Anala Outdoors optimizes the services by utilizing the latest technology. Its website provides the latest updates along with visual documentation of the happenings at the campsites and an SMS service that keeps the parents informed on a daily basis. The office work is like that total in our summer there are around 60 plus departures. We manage all departures from here. कौन सा बच्चा कौन से डेट को जाएगा उसका अरेंजमेंट कैसे करना है जैसे अगर वो जेन फूड के लिए है तो उसका जेन फूड का अरेंजमेंट करना है ट्रैवल अरेंजमेंट करना है उसका सेफ्टी मेजर्स उसका ध्यान में रखना है जैसे सपोज यहां से अहमदाबाद से लेकर मनाली तक जा रहा है तो उन इन बिटवीन उसको कहां पे रुकना है कहां पे खाना देना है कहां से उसको उतरना है कहां से फ्रेशन अप के लिए उनको भेजना है बस का कंडीशन कैसा होगा बस वाले से के साथ डील करते हैं हम लोग इसी तरह हर जगह के कैंप्स जैसे जयालगढ़ रहता है तो जयालगढ़ अप टू हरिद्वार हम लोग ट्रेन ट्रैवल करते हैं हरिद्वार से बाय बस ट्रांसफर देते हैं और वहां पे जो एक्टिविटीज करते हैं रिवर राफ्टिंग एक्टिविटीज उसमें सेफ्टी मेजर्स प्रॉपर्ली किए नहीं किए सारे इंस्ट्रक्टर्स वगैरह सारा अपडेट हम लोग यहां से बैठ के मैनेज करते रहते हैं all the activities of this Himalayan camp are exclusively designed to let the participants get some adrenaline rush as well as experience the gist of survival skills right in innate settings of raw nature. With every step they take to accomplish the task assigned to them, something changes in them. Their fears disappear and their confidence increases. Perseverance gets instilled in them and a sense of achievement fills their senses. Further, group outdoor games bring about team building dynamics and leadership skills in them. Our main purpose is to get kids to camping. Today, the life is going on in big cities. What happens is that the mother and father are very close. They take so much attention to them that the difficult things in our life are very difficult. फेस करने में काफी डिफिकल्टी होती है तो हमारे कैंप का जो मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्ट है वो वही रहता है कि उन बच्चों को हम लोग जो है वो उनका कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड अप करने में हम लोग उनकी मदद करें तो जो 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 भी हमारे पास यहां पे बच्चे आते हैं तो हम उन लोगों को नेचर के और क्लोज लेके जाते हैं ताकि उनको नेचर का इंपॉर्टेंस भी पता लगे और जितना भी हम एक्टिविटीज वगैरह करवाते हैं ये एडवेंचर एक्टिविटीज जैसे जिप लाइन है रैपलिंग है या जूमारिंग है तो इसमें जो भी हम इक्विपमेंट जो है यूज करते हैं वो यू से सर्टिफाइड होता है यू बोलने का मतलब है यूनाइटेड इंटरनेशनल अल्पाइन एसोसिएशन है ये तो जितना भी एडवेंचर का इक्विपमेंट आएगा अगर इसका मोर नहीं लगा होगा यू का तो वो सेफ नहीं है वो तो हम जितना भी यूज करते हैं ये यू से प्रमाणित होता है ये
All the treks and activities are designed in a way that the participants learn to set their own goals. They get to understand their own limits and choose their individual triests with nature. Embarking on their set goals, each participant emerges a winner by attempting and challenging their limits. They learn to celebrate their little victories and understand the subtleties of life through close observation and first-hand experiences. The interactions on ecology, nature conservation, sustainable development, culture and life in general transcend the participants into thinkers and agents of change, furthering the movement of compassionate conservation ahead. I have been here for the Anal Outdoor Camp and I did this activity of ziplining so it was very enjoyable, it was a fun. As far as I know, the activities have been quite thrilling so far but what I have learned particularly from this activity is as far as you have safety, there is no need to be scared of anything. So it was a very good experience. Zipline is such an activity that it is fun and its fear of height is going to go away. The tents were great and uh, tents are so spacious hai, and everything is great and uh, washrooms are clean, hygienic and the food is like really awesome. We to fight karna sikha. We learned many things as we learned leadership, grouping, teamwork and many things that uh, we don't have to run away from fear. We have to just uh, stay out of it and uh, when we do rappling, uh, it looks like it is very tough and uh, we'll just fall but when we do first time and then it feels we have to do again and again. New hobbies develop here. Bird watching, I didn't know that bird watching was a good thing, but I saw almost around 25 to 30 new birds. They were close and it was a lot of fun. And I will try to see new birds in the future. I am considering the uh, the care we, the kind of care we are uh, been given, I would like to come from Anala again and again. With this, Anala Outdoors exemplifies how environment education can bring about a change in young Indians and motivate them towards being responsible and empowered citizens of the country. Come and take a leap of faith and join our hands in the movement. A movement to enliven the magic. A movement to transcend inner peace. A movement to unleash our true self and to reinstate our belief in the nature supreme. Hi, Marun. लाइन में लंबी खड़े हैं कि खाना खाया। पता चला कि ठंडी इतनी नहीं लगती है ज़रा। अच्छा लग रहा है, तो टेल अच्छा रहा है। रिलैक्स। Yes. <laughs> 